I'm up here alone, and I'm going out in the vineyard. I've got this same notebook right here, and I'm making sketches and where rows might be and stuff yeah. like that. But there's nothing there. But then Saturday mornings, I'd go over to see Bob Cundy, mm -hmm. and I'd knock on the front door. God damn it, that's George again. <laughs> and he'd open the door and let me in, and he'd pour two gla glasses of bourbon. He doesn't drink wine. He'd no, that was his orange juice in the morning, a glass juice, of bourbon. Right. So we'd sit down there, and he'd have to open his book. He'd look at the, all these questions I've written out there. He's sitting there. He must have rolled his eyeballs when he saw yeah, that list of questions. Right. And finally he says, uh, <laughs> you know, George, he says, uh, you told me that uh, you want to learn to grow great grapes and make distinctive wine. You, you told mm -hmm. me that. Is that true? Is that what we're up here? Is that why you bought that piece of property across the highway? <laughs> that abandoned place with nothing on it? Is that why you bought it? Yes, sir, that's what I bought that. Well, son, let me tell you something. If you want to grow, learn to grow great grapes, and you want to make distinctive wines, then you better be sure that those grape wines are happy. <laughs> So I'm sitting there, and it's like you're sitting here. That's like, okay, what's that mean, yeah, right? Yeah, I said, well, well, Bob, how do I know if a great wine's happy? I don't know if my wife's happy. I don't know who's happy. How do I know if a great wine's happy? He puts the damn drink down on the table like this. He jumps up. God damn it, George. The wines will tell you when they're happy. Now, that is a literally truth. I've spent 35 fucking years... Uh, <laughs> trying to understand what makes a vine happy. And if you want to make great wine and make this, go great grapes, you do have to make sure they're happy. I think your guru is right. Absolutely. Yeah. And then he, the other thing is that as you do this as a vineyardist, those damn vines talk to you. Mm -hmm. The vines will tell you when they're happy. There are 50 ways a great wine can tell you if it's happy. Absolutely. Out of all of them. Yeah. And, and, the, that, the, and the key to that is making sure that you're actually standing in that vineyard. Absolutely. Talking to You're those vines. That vineyard. You're talking to those vines. Yeah. And that's what goes into making great wine and making the, make, growing great grapes and making distinctive wines on it, hmm. is that make sure those vines are happy.